This work of art is made so that it can be destroyed. It compresses sand of different colors and will take five days to complete. Tibetan monks from the Dri Pong Luzling Monastery in Atlanta are making the mandala. Loosely translated, mandala means center in Sanskrit. Actually, in Tibetan we call it Ginkgo. The mandala is a religious symbol in Hinduism and Buddhism. It can be called many different things and be made with different materials. And it's also known as a whole universe within it. And the most important part is to visualize the mandala in your mind and, and thought during the meditation. That's the most, most important thing. Making a mandala is not simple. Every monk must get an invitation from a qualified master. After that, they go to a retreat for three months. Then, they have to memorize the mandala's exact pattern. So, what, what they are creating over there has to be memorized. Each and every color and design detail were written in the text, which is uh, written by Buddha himself. To nearly 2,500 years before. These monks have been in the U.S. since February. In mid-December, a new group of monks from their monastery in India will take their place here. They visited several universities, colleges, art galleries and music festivals. Wherever we go, we always met with friendly atmosphere. The work they've done here is a part of their degree in Buddhism philosophy. Two of these monks have already graduated from their monastery. The rest are going to continue their studies in India. All in all, their degree takes over 17 years to finish. The monks have three goals with their stay here. One, to promote the human value. Secondly, uh, religious harmony and the third is to raise a fund during the tour to provide uh, shelter and f food and every necessity for more than 3,000 monks in our monastery. They worked on the mandala from 9 to 5 while in Milledgeville. They finished on Friday and held a ceremony at Allen's Market near the Georgia College campus. Throughout, meditation was as important as the work on the mandala. Uh, happiness is lying not within outside world, but inside within you. So search, find happiness within you. Shortly after finishing the mandala, the monks destroyed it. Some of the sand was distributed to the audience as a blessing to those attending the ceremony. The monks took the rest to the Okani River, where they poured it into the water. The intention is to spread the sand all over the world. Many who watch the ceremony also choose to pour their sand into the river. This is Edith Chagrenov reporting.